Tonight, 150 residents of Section 8 apartment complexes in Chattanooga have, have to spend the night elsewhere. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Latricia Thomas. That apartment complex we're talking about is JC Towers, which earlier today had a fire call. Now that fire turned out to be minor, but it uncovered some major problems there. Now fire marshals are launching a full investigation. News Channel 9's Micaiah Thurman begins tonight's team coverage. Micaiah. Kim, Latricia, fire investigators are still figuring out just how many residents may have suffered from smoke inhalation. But with some broken emergency lines, residents are fuming with frustration. <laughs> residents say it was a bad situation made worse. I feel like they should have a backup power, uh, battery power or something, you know, so they can have, have some life to Flame started in an eighth floor mechanical room here at JC Towers just after 11 a.m. Unfortunately, the fire was bad enough to where it smoked up the entire floor uh, on the eighth floor. Firefighters told most residents to stay inside their homes, but the ones that had already made it out tell us that something went wrong. There were some in some places but most of them were dim and or out. Broken emergency lights and fire alarms. If proven to be true, fire investigators say those violations could have major consequences. Well, it's serious. I mean, the emergency lighting is there for a reason, and that is in case you actually do have a fire and evacuation is necessary, you've got to have light for, in, in order to be able to evacuate, know which way to go. Fire investigators still don't know if or to what extent those emergency lights may have malfunctioned. With so many residents at JC Towers with pre-existing medical conditions, EMS did check out several patients, but no injuries were reported. Latricia. Thanks, Micaiah. And now to the consequences of those possible fire code violations. The power is out at JC Towers tonight, and its 150 residents are spending the night elsewhere. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sparato picks up that part of the story live from where some of those residents are staying. Alyssa. Cabin and Latricia. Now the shelter is split up into three different parts. You have the registration room, you have the cafeteria room right here, and you have the sleeping room, which is in the room now over. Now I've had a chance to speak to residents the past couple minutes. They're frustrated, they're tired, understandably. It's been a long day, but the worst part is they don't know exactly when they're going to be able to get home. I had a chance to speak with other residents too that said that they didn't even have a chance to grab all of their medications. They're worried. They don't know how that medicine is going to be able to get to them because there's no power in JC towers. Even officials don't know when these residents here will be able to be back home, but of course we'll continue to keep you updated and I'll have a live report coming up for you at 6. Reporting live here in Chattanooga, Alyssa Sparato, News Channel 9.